guys, welcome to my channel. It is Maya Jackson. I'm back at it again with another video. Today I'm going to be doing my first impressions of this DIY flaxseed gel that I've made. I'd actually previously recorded this video, but it came out really blurry and I didn't think it was very good quality, so here we are. And before we even get into this video, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you also hit the notification bar so you can know every time I post a video. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is going to take down these ponytails. Now that my hair is down, I'm just going to spritz it with a whole lot of water because this is a old twist out. So you just want to make sure that the hair is nice and hydrated and so it's also easier to work with. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is just put some leave in. Okay, so I'm going to put some leave-in into my hair just to make sure my hair is moisturized and so it's a little more malleable. Because my hair is really, really thick and I want it to be able to get into a ponytail. And I'm doing a single ponytail just so I can see visually how slick I will be able to get it. Because I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to slick down my hair with this. I, must, I know I'm going to be able to do a twist out with it, but we'll see how good and if it can truly, truly replace Eco Styler Gel. Rub it into my hand. We're going to see. It's definitely a lot more liquidy than the first time that I used it is what I'm noticing because it was like, it's still pretty sticky, but... It's not as thick as when I first used it. Now the only thing I'm ner nervous about now is putting it into my brush because it does have ingredients that are perishable. So I'm definitely, I'm obviously going to comb out my brush and clean it out later, but. Well, it's, it's not bad. Mm, this is looking a little crusty just with the look I have, so we're gonna do it to the side so it looks a little bit better. And my hair is thick, so I'd be using these jumbo hair ties that are like the size of headbands. And I just wrap around twice just to give a stronger hold. And as you can see, my hair is still not laid down that well. So I just take some water and spritz it down. And then I'm going to grab some more gel. So this is what I have to do with Eco Styler gel anyway. So it's not like it's like, oh my god, this sucks like my hair is really thick and really non-cooperative so I just usually have to do this this way anyway but right now it's looking like it's really getting my hair slicked down and usually I would use like multiple products but for the purpose of this video I'm gonna just try to leave it one. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm just going to take this silk scarf. I'm going to put it over my head and just really tie my hair down nice and tight. And I'll just tie it down in the front and we will see how this looks tomorrow. 
Okay, so it's the next morning, so I'm gonna just take this off and see what we're looking at. I am shooketh. I'm actually a little surprised. It looks pretty slick down. Like my hair is pretty flat to my head. Um, it's not gonna be silky wavy because I saw my hair texture. So if you were expecting that, you're looking at the wrong place. Um, but my hair is pretty slick down. I think I could have gone a little lighter on my edges right here because I think I added a lot. Because after the video, I went back and added some more. Um, just to my edges a little bit. Good things about making it, that's why I decided to try it. But I didn't think it would, like, be as good as it actually is. And excuse my face, I'm kind of crusty because I'm not wearing any makeup right now. But I'm going to just go ahead, so go ahead and be back with my hair so I can start the twist. Okay, so now that I'm sitting here looking like... Bye, Felicia. I'm gonna just take down these braids and then start to do my twist out now that I am done with my wash. I washed it, put a deep conditioner in it, and then I also did a T rinse. So now I'm gonna twist this. Oh, and if you see me looking this way, it's because I'm rewatching Supernatural. So don't pay any mind to that. Now that I'm all done with twisting my hair up, I will see you guys in the morning when I have time to take my hair down. Hello, so I am back. I definitely am very happy with the results. Now that I have taken down these twists, I'm very much in love with how it's affecting my hair. It's very soft. My hair still has quite a bit of bounce and my hair is pretty thick so you know a lot of times it don't be moving. But I love how soft my hair is and the gel when I was just even doing the twist out. It gave my hair a lot of slip to be able to work with. My hair smells good. It didn't leave any residue. I was very surprised about how well this turned out. Like, there's a lot of products like Cantu and um, Carol's Daughter Works for me, Eco Style Gel. Um, I don't know like it did a lot better than store-bought products and I'm very surprised on how well it worked out the only thing I would say is that it's very messy very very messy so it's water soluble so it's liquidy so it can spill out the container so I would definitely suggest using a mason jar to contain it but I'm definitely gonna be using this in the future unless I can find some sort of company that organically makes hair gel that so that I don't have to continue making it myself while I'm at school but I'm definitely loving the results and I would suggest you guys try this too because you'll be shook like how good this works for you to have made it yourself okay guys I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful and informational for you guys and if you haven't already what are you doing? Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and don't forget about the notification bar. Bye guys, stay tuned for more videos.